This is Moonshine Land. It was dark. It was dark in that deserted Appalachian mountain town. Not late, just wintertime dark. It was along in October of 1922, I believe, that a sturdy, dark-haired stranger came to the old hotel where I lived. I didn't look back, not at first. I was, I was too afraid to look, you know what I mean? So the night they locked him up, and this is true, mind you, he ripped the metal bed frame in his cell apart, used a piece of it to knock a hole in the brick wall, tore and tied his bedclothes into a rope, and climbed down from his second-story cell to the ground below. That noise, that howl, it sounded like... It sounded like the last thing you hear before you're taken. It was as if the end of everything was right behind me. They are outlaws, the snake stick man breathed in response to Catch's question. All of them? I croaked as I surveyed the mob of angry woodsmen. Yes, the snake stick man affirmed. Every single one, apparently. Except it was her shadow no longer. A horned beast appeared in her shadow's place and lunged at me. Get you away, Horace, the granny woman cried. I leapt to my feet. What the hell are you doing here, Kephart, he roared, finally recognizing me. Who's watching the still? No time to explain, I wheezed, my mouth dry as sandpaper, lungs screaming for air. We are discovered. 